All right, howdy y'all, Party Dan here, and welcome to my game land. Today, I'm just going to be my first guitar tutorial, I guess you could say, or well, guitar how-to kind of thing, new series. Um, first of all, I'm just going to talk to you guys about strings. Uh, I will go all over to guitars after I'm probably a little, little bit soon, hopefully. But anyway, yeah, I'm talking to you guys about guitar strings. Uh, you can get a lot of them. I, I just recently bought these ones just because I need to stock up on them. I bought them a few minutes ago. Anyway, so I just need to get stuck up on them, and these are currently, if you guys are wondering, these are uh, Daddario uh, Nickel Wound XL strings, uh, 11 to 46. They're pretty heavy strings, because for the music I like, I usually like, you know, post-hardcore, death metal, you know, sub-genres, like, like stuff like that. I also like classical stuff as well. Kind of weird, but anyway. So, um, strings. Most one of the most important things you'll need on a guitar, um, because without it, you would just have a hunk of wood and pickups and metal that just looks cool, but you won't be able to do anything with. Um, a lot there. There are a lot of guitar companies out there. I, I personally myself, I've used Daddario. These ones, which I just started getting into Daddario, which I love Daddario now. Um. Make really really great strings. They they feel a bit different from what I'm used to playing, but um, yeah. If you guys um, like these are just really great strings for any metal guys. But uh, first of all, um, these are EXL one one fives by the way. I just read that anyway. So um, to pick out these are different string gauges. There's not eights, nines, tens, elevens, and twelves. I currently have elevens here. I have Dario EXL 10 to 52s here. Uh, this bass string's a bit thicker just for what I tune down to. But I kind of like to, to tune down a little. I have, a, and I also have Ernie Ball regular slinkies, I want to say, here. 10 to 42s or 10 to 46s on here. This is just for my, like, you know, standard tune. Maybe drop D kind of stuff. Um, I use Paul. Paul use Ernie Ball like tens just for standard tune. But if, um, um, that's probably the that's part of the by Ernie Ball. Well, I'm just not judging Ernie Ball, but Ernie Ball is a really really great guitar company. Anyway, so good, you know string gauges. If um, I'd recommend like if you just starting out and you want to buy a new pack of strings, I'd recommend. Probably nines, so you can build it up, build up your you know little finger finger calluses or whatever, not catalysts because that lights stuff up. But um, if you guys like it, just so you can build up the finger strength or whatever to it. Then if you want kind of heavier strings after you've been playing for a year, um, then go up to a tens. Um, but um, you know tens are an all round thing. A lot of guys use them. Uh, I know for a fact that Jake Pitts, the lead guitarist for Black Belt Brides, uses it. He's the only guy I know who he really, he's the only one who really talks about strings uh, in his videos, and he says he uses 10 to 52 uh, to Dario OEXL. Um, but you know, different gauges are for different genres. Like eights and nines are probably for cl like classical stuff, for maybe for like small bends, maybe a half step bends or whatever. Eight or, that's what eight and nines are for, but tens are for like you know metal or rock. If you're to tune down to D or maybe tune down a half, the whole entire set down a half step to E flat. Um, but then you know that's the, just normal stuff for tens. If you just want to, if you listen to like you know Skillet or yeah Skillet or Black Rover, not Black Rovers, if you listen to Skillet or Twelve Stones, they uh, go down to like C sharp, D and E standard. So I'd recommend tens for if you're gonna learn how to play standard rock, no crazy like shreddy heavy chugs, like you know like F or whatever if you tune down to F. Um, but then like if you're using like you know elevens and twelves, uh, these are pretty thick and heavy strings. Um, you know if you um j you know jazz players I guess you could use these because they're using kind of a lot of bends and crazy. Not really crazy licks, but like blue licks, like blues and jazz licks. Um, it's good for them. But um, if you're gonna tune down to like C major, I'd maybe B major as well. Play these twelves, definitely B major. Um, if you're gonna play some like really really heavy stuff, like freaking Dead by April or something. Something 
Oh, it's got out. <laughs> anyway. Um, you know, 10s and no, 11s and 12s are probably for, like, tuning down to C major, B major, maybe B flat, A. Um... You know, that's what I, uh, I usually, like, that's what, I use 11, just because I turn down to C. Might go down to B if I ever play Escape the Fate, which they tune down to B a few times. But, you know, yeah, this is what I use. Um, this is Dario, that's what the pack looks like, if you guys want to look what Ernie Ball pack looks like. Just pull them out right now, if you can pull it out yet, I don't know why. Yeah, here, um, here the that's what Ernie Ball looks like. I, I'm not probably not gonna put through this. Is, I pulled out one string anyway, so it's not a full pack. I'm missing one string. These are light top heavy bottoms from Ernie Ball, which is a 10 to 52, which I have um on my Warlock, which I have Ernie Ball 10 to 52 EXLs. Um, if you if like for guys if you were to, if you go and turn on to C or whatever, uh, 10 to 52s are good, but you know it, the bigger the thicker strings kind of rattle just a little bit. Which are, I guess, okay if we get used to it after a while. But, yeah. That's how to fit, you know, the string gauges or whatever. Um, I'll go over how to pick out a guitar for, or whatever next. Um, so, yeah. Go check out. You can go also. You don't have to stick with just Dario or any ball or whatever. You can, like, figure out, see which one you like the best. I have current, I personally like Ernie Ball just because they feel. Like I guess what I'm used to, not used to, but what I like, the, you know, the, I could, I like Dario just because they make awesome strings from my, from my experience. Um, they make, they have, they're much brighter. If you want a really bright sound, probably Ernie Ball, not Ernie Ball, Dario. Um, no, go, you go experiment, you go try out Ernie Ball, the Dario, whatever other guitar string companies are out there. I don't know much, I only know two guitar companies. Uh, try different string gauges of also, uh, well, obviously if you're a beginner, start out with, you know, nines, and then if you, once you get, like, the, um, build the finger strength and you learn, a f know a few licks, then bump up to tens, maybe elevens, um, then once you get, you know, good at the tens or elevens, then bump up to twelves if you're playing really, really, like, you know, heavy gent or metalcore or jumping all the way down to, like, B or whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys found this um, helpful. Um, let me know what you guys, what you guys, what strings you guys use, uh, what gauge, or whatever. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Next video, logging out to next time. I'm your host, Party Dan. I just burped. Here you go, me. Right after logging out, the video was all.